four by one of these hills just rolling to each other. You can see from miles down there. Five minutes drive through the rolling hills of Johannesburg, you'll enter the valley known as the Cradle of Humankind, which has 30 to 40 percent of the world's fossils and information about our human ancestry. And because of this, the valley has been declared a World Heritage Site. So these are some of the things that have been found, but some of the things found here, Colin, as well? Oh, absolutely. I mean, in this valley, uh this specimen itself is Mrs. Plez, one of the most famous hominid fossils that we have, found in 1947. Yeah. And a fossil specimen of an ape man or an ape human mm -hmm. that existed about two and a half million years ago. Wow. Uh, and this was one of the major fossils that proved to the world that Africa was the cradle of humankind. Pretty Eating. exciting work, isn't it? it w would you find something like this in, in one of your sites? We have found a number of them mm -hmm. in our sites. And how often would you find something that would just excite you and you think, wow, what a, what well, a great Well, find. yesterday when I was out here, actually, yeah. we had another, just it was just a tooth, yeah. uh, but a tooth of this species that came out yesterday. So what's up? What are you bringing out now? This is so? a chimpanzee, and it's a nice comparison to use against Mrs. Plez. Oh, Mrs. Plez here, right. Okay, showing very similar features between our ancestors and chimpanzees, but also some similarities to humans as so well. So do you think that, that, that you might find another Mrs. Plez somewhere on the site out here? Well, we found not Mrs. Plez, but Australopithecus robustus from this site, a complete skull, and it actually is this specimen right here. Uh, it hasn't been painted to look more naturally, but But then we're going to put it together, are you? Put it together to... for you. It's yep. actually a very, very pretty young lady. Ah, I see. You hold that there. How beautiful. And if that isn't enough, yep. complete lower dentition from the mandible or the lower jaw fits oh, right a, there. Well, it's magnificent. It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle. It is it? indeed. Oh, it wasn't just these pieces that have been glued together as well, a number but of it, other pieces as well. Painstaking but rewarding work at the same time? Well, I think any information that you have about where we've come from, I think it's an innate curiosity that people have. Mm. And some of that information is coming from here. And we're sieving here, obviously, but, but just tell me a little bit about it. Well, this is all the soil and sediment, which is what we call decalcified, which has been the cementing matrix. This is this, which hasn't yet fallen out. And you see oh, the all of these, inside, yeah. there's a lovely little two teeth oh, yeah. to a little rodent, but everything else here you can see is fossilized rodents. And the boys get very good at being able to spot all the things that you want, all the things you're looking superb, for? Superb, superb eyes, doing it uh, about five days a week, and uh, very, very good. And what's also interesting, why we're going through this actually, basically, fly screen mesh, mm. is all the little baby hominids, their little tiny teeth, end up in this size mesh fraction as well. So David, what have you found here? Uh, most of the time, uh, every time uh, we just found uh, big bones and uh, small bones like this as a microphone. Oh, well, this little one here? That's um, one of yours. What's that? This looks like the uh, small bones of a bed. Uh, I think so. Okay. Yeah. And then. Um, what have you got that one? What's that one? This one is also a, a bed bone mixing with a brush. A bat bone? The Cradle of Humankind is one of the few places in the world where you have the unique privilege to come to a famous fossil site and watch an excavation taking place and have a paleoanthropologist guide you through the site.
So Colin, what's the most exciting recent find in the valley? One of the most real exciting recent finds is the Littlefoot skeleton found from Sturkfontein. Uh, and I'd probably equate it to probably one of the most significant discoveries of the 21st century. And I would accord that the same significance as almost the sequencing of the human genome, the DNA, which they've just recently done. Uh, it's a complete skeleton. It's, I mean, it's earth shattering. It's got the skull, both arms, all of the bones in the wrist, the lower limbs, uh, and most of the vertebral column. I mean, it's almost unheard of. Normally you find a tooth, maybe a partial skull, but to find the whole person, the whole animal, is, is earth shattering. But some other amazing fossils, what I'm holding here, is the first complete female skull to Australopithecus robustus. And I'll show you how it actually came. It actually was found exactly, if you don't mind putting it together, found exactly like that. If you oh, hold I'll that hold there. that one for you. Yeah. So I see, it says, exactly. it was just on this particular rock yeah. here. And the only little tiny piece that was still part of the rock like this fossil yeah. was this little bit of the zygomatic, this little bit of this cheekbone coming along the other side. And the rest was in that soil like we found sieving. So this is the angle that it was found at? Yeah, this is a reconstruction of how it exactly was found as we just started to expose this little bit of soil that covered it. Tiny little bit still in the rock, and if this wasn't enough, right next to it was the male mandible. That's and right. Andre, the scientist that I work with here, nicknamed them Eurydice and Orpheus. I see, right. Wonderful. So it must be a very exciting day for everybody. Two star-crossed lovers found right next to each other, and the real first complete female skull to the species Australopithecus robustus. It was in these hills that our ancestors would have walked. And it wasn't until gold was discovered here in 1898 that the limestone miners moved in to mine the area. And limestone is used in the extracting process, taking the gold from the ore. And it was the limestone miners who found these fossil bearing deposits below. The remains of the miners' early excavations can still be seen here, holes in the ground that opened the door to human history.